Let's get this going in your life. Start walking with God in being rich. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today. And you walk with Him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstrott. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If it isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. Well, for those of you who've been here for a while, you know that the Holy Ghost is God. You know that He's the one in the earth. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we walk with the Holy Ghost. And we even know that it's by saying words that that's the way that we walk with Him. Amen. Through this ministry, you know a lot of things. And you know a lot of things that a lot of people just plain don't know. Now what? Mm -hmm. Now I know this. Now I have this information. I have this information that the Holy Ghost is God, right? Mm -hmm. And He's in the earth. And I'm in the earth and I'm supposed to be walking with him by saying words well now what well now we need to go on there's some of us that need to go on mm -hmm. second Corinthians chapter 1 verse 20 for all the promises of God in him are yea, and in him amen unto the glory of God by us by us that's the now what so now we have all of these promises that we're going to walk with God in the earth in does that make sense mm -hmm. did you know that there's a lot of promises in the Bible yes. right thousands thousands and thousands of them and each promise has the ability within itself to bring itself to pass in your life mm -hmm. and all the promises of God are yes God's already said yes mm -hmm. and we say the amen mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. and we walk with God in these promises mm -hmm. say in the promises. in the promises that's how we're walking with God by speaking his word in agreement and people I know people that you know get caught up in so many promises that frankly none of them really are coming to pass because they're just all deluded by them saying too many things you understand mm -hmm. So with so many promises how do I know what to believe for now unless you're sick or infirmed or maybe in, in an elderly state where you need to have youth renewal then of course you would be believing for healing and youth renewal in those situations but unless that's your situation mm -hmm. this is what you should be believing for and what you should start with start with rich imagine if you were the scribe writing down all the prayers that God hears a majority of them would be about what money, money. and not that people are just trying to be greedy it's just they're trying to have their needs met they're trying to get through this earth in this earth you need some money mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. with all of these promises where should I start what should I start walking with God in start walking with God in rich being rich well how can you say that well I'm just going to parrot what the Bible says mm -hmm. you know all the promises of God so many of them pertain to having money mm -hmm. say having money. having money let's get this going in your life the promises of God pertaining to being rich now we're going to define rich in just a minute here but let's read this third john verse 2 beloved i wish above all things that thou mayest die and go to heaven is that what it says john the elder writing by the inspiration of the holy ghost said i wish above all things that thou mayest first thing mm -hmm. prosper and be in health what's number two be in health 
but before even health he says prosper do you know you can ha have uh, not enough money and it'll make you sick am I wrong in saying we should start with this if the Bible says I wish above all things that thou mayest start prosper and be in health we're gonna get this going in your life first walking with the Holy Ghost you should get this going in your life first when you walk with the Holy Ghost you should get this going get it going get it moving get going in this direction are you here because it's God's will that you first prosper and be in health is this making sense so we're going to start with this would it be an advantage to start life rich yes. we all know that that's what what we believe for for our children right yes. we want them to start rich it gives them an advantage mm -hmm. is God any different mm -hmm. he wants you to start rich I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper rich for our purposes here means more than more than enough enough is fine having more than more than enough is how we're going to define rich that could apply to your your current financial situation would be having many months in advance of what you need to live on that could be qualified as rich right yes. not paycheck to paycheck do you know that most people live paycheck to paycheck mm -hmm. that's not more than more than enough enough would be just their paycheck more than more than enough would be many months in advance mm -hmm. and then we can build on that you can go as far as you want with this with the Holy Ghost you understand but you got to start somewhere and this is where we're starting having more than more than enough and then you can build on that John chapter 10 verse 10 I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly mm -hmm. so you have abundance and then more mm -hmm. did I make that up no Jesus said it we're talking about defining what rich is because we need to start with rich you have a problem with this so many of the promises of God have to do with supplying your needs my God shall supply all my needs is money a need well I know I don't need any well I don't know where you're living then now remember Jesus said I am come that you might have something have life and have it more abundance in more abundance right second Corinthians 8 verse 9 for you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ now think think here now do we know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ that he was made sin that we might be made the righteousness of God what do you call that grace you know the grace look at that right there it says you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ if I continued on with this verse and I said that he bore your sins that you could walk in the righteousness of God you'd be all fine with it I know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ he bore your sicknesses mm -hmm. so that you could walk in the healing and health of God mm -hmm. some people would be fine with that what's this say for you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ that though he was rich yet for your sakes he became poor or bore poverty that you through his poverty might be rich mm -hmm. if you knew the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ in this verse of Scripture you would know that he bore your poverty that you could bear his wealth or you could be rich if I walk in the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ mm -hmm. I'm gonna be walking in being rich mm -hmm. you were made rich because he bore your poverty did Jesus bear your sins yes. mm 
-hmm. yes did jesus bear your sicknesses yes. yes did jesus bear your poverty yes so what's the point of all that so you could be righteous you could be healed you could be rich mm -hmm. get that through your thick skull it's a promise of god that's already yes and amen for you second corinthians chapter 9 verse 8 and god is able to make all grace remember we just read about grace mm -hmm. grace abound towards you that you always having all sufficiency in all things may abound to every good work mm -hmm. all 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 every what kind of grace you say mm -hmm. grace to be rich say grace to be rich grace to be rich why does that get you kicked out of so many churches say I have grace, I have grace. To, be rich. to be rich that you always having all sufficiency in all things may abound to every good work verse 11 being enriched same word in I think they I think they chickened out and wrote that in there enriched instead of rich being rich in everything to all bountifulness mm -hmm. which causes through us thanksgiving to God the Bible definition of rich is having more than more than enough all the time mm -hmm. say having more, having more than more, more than enough all the, time. all the time Bible definition of rich don't get mad at me Bible definition of rich Genesis chapter 12 verse 1 now the Lord had said unto Abram get thee out of thy country and from thy kindred and from thy father's house unto a land that I will show thee verse 2 and I will make of thee a great nation and I will bless thee and make thy name great and thou shalt be a blessing God speaking to Abraham said he would bless him Genesis chapter 13 verse 2 and Abram was very rich Abram was very rich in cattle in silver and in gold just one chapter after God blessed Abraham Abram yes. he was very rich because he was blessed by God was Abraham rich mm -hmm. how do you get rich God blessed him yes. mm -hmm. if God blesses you what does it make you rich. rich here very rich when God blesses me I get very rich Galatians chapter 3 13 Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law being made a curse for us for it is written cursed is everyone that hangs on a tree verse 14 that the blessing of Abraham might come on yes. that the blessing of Abraham might come what blessing God blessing Abraham making him very rich might come on mm -hmm. the Gentiles through Christ Jesus that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith the promise is simply another name of the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. when you receive the Holy Ghost who is the promise you shall be made rich for you are blessed this is the basics people mm -hmm. the promise of the Spirit over and over the Bible calls the Spirit the promise Jesus said wait for the promise when they received the Holy Ghost they said they received the promise when you receive him you're blessed and part of that blessing is to make you very rich and the Bible definition of rich is more than more than enough all the time for everything mm -hmm. 
this should be the first thing you start believing for it was the first thing that god did to abraham in third john verse 2 it was the first thing he mentioned i pray that you would prosper mm -hmm. first thing who's the promise the holy ghost mm -hmm. makes no small difference to know that it's from him that these blessings that make you rich come from mm -hmm. are you getting this yes. Where does the blessing to make rich come from? It comes from the Holy Ghost, who is the promise. The blessing to be made rich comes from the Holy Ghost, who is the promise. And it makes no small difference to know that he's the one who does these things. We should now be involved in that promise. We're walking with the Holy Ghost, and this is His promise, is to make us rich. Same blessing that was on Abraham. Amen. Should we not be walking in it? Mm -hmm. Should we not know this? Should we not have this promise moving in our life? How do you get it moving in your life? We'll be talking about it. It's by speaking in agreement with His Word. But this is the number one thing. It's the first thing that you should have moving. It's called increase and being blessed why because I know the Holy Ghost Matthew chapter 13 verse 45 again the kingdom of heaven is like unto a merchant man seeking goodly pearls now what does a merchant man do he's a merchant man what does he do he buys and sells, buys and sells. Mm -hmm. why is he doing that to make a profit mm -hmm. to have more after he does a deal mm -hmm. than he had when he before he went into the deal that's, right. that's the deal you want to have more after the deal than before you go into the deal and Jesus said this is how the kingdom of heaven is like mm -hmm. the kingdom of heaven is like unto a merchant man seeking goodly pearls he's looking for the good ones who when he had found one pearl say one pearl one pearl, one pearl of great price went and sold all that he had and bought it meaning that the cost of that one pearl was everything else he sold and bought the one why because he wanted to go out of business no cuz cuz it was worth more than everything he had and he would have had more after purchasing it mm -hmm. say one pearl. one pearl but Jesus is saying the kingdom of heaven is like this mm -hmm. one pearl of great value more than all the others combined the kingdom of God is like this who is the promise the Holy Ghost who if he is the promise and he contains all of the promises yes and amen he's the one pearl that has all of the other promises in him mm -hmm. yes. are you here mm -hmm. first Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 11 but all these worketh that one and self same spirit mm -hmm. here the Bible says that it's the Holy Ghost who is one and he does all of the things mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. so in the earth that makes sense he's the Holy Ghost he's God in the earth he's one and he does all of the things he is the promise he's the one that we get to walk with in the earth it's of great value it's of more value than all of the other things because he has all of the other things in him first mm -hmm. Timothy 6 17 charge them that are rich in this world that they give away all their money become destitute like all the other Christians Is that what it said no. charge them that are rich in this world that they be not high-minded nor trust in uncertain riches but in the living God who gives us richly 
all things to enjoy who do we know the living God to be the Holy Ghost he's God in the earth today he gives us richly all things if you have him you've got it all or you at least have the ability to get to it all And what would all be talking about even in this verse of scripture what is he talking about mm -hmm. money he's the promise are there any promises that have to do with you having your needs met yes. well how about something that has something to do with God giving you richly all things to enjoy would that include money mm -hmm. yes makes no small difference knowing this this pearl knowing him and how to walk with him is a pearl of great price it is of great value how much value you say well it, it has the the value that's in the word itself if this is the promise that you're going to put in your mouth living god gives me richly all things to enjoy what's the value of that all things to enjoy is that worth purchasing yes. mm -hmm. the value of the promise himself and speaking in agreement with him mm -hmm. is of great value his words on your lips will begin to change you into it if you begin to say the blessing of the Lord makes me rich and adds no sorrow with it what begins to happen that you begin to be changed into that mm -hmm. you begin to walk with the Holy Ghost who is God in the earth today in that verse of Scripture and it then goes out and begins to modify your situation yes. changes it into that is there any value in it I'm changed from whatever I was before into that mm -hmm. I'm changed from whatever I was before changing now into that mm -hmm. I'm changed into a rich person mm -hmm. say I'm changed, I'm changed. Into, into a rich person, a rich person. and you get rich on the inside before it comes on the outside then it's it shows up mm -hmm. it's guaranteed as long as you have it on your lips say it's guaranteed, it's guaranteed. As long as, long as, I, as I have it, have it on, my on my lips who guarantees it God I'm changed into a rich person I begin to think like a rich person I begin to speak like a rich person I begin to act like a rich person why would that be because I'm being changed into a rich person does this make sense is there any value in that yeah you need to get this moving first I had a person come up to me the other day I mean I wasn't dressed like this or anything I was just out at the store or whatnot and they came up to me and they said they asked me well what is your name you know because they were like they were they were looking at me strangely and asking well what is your name and I told them oh Hemstrad she goes oh that that sounds like an old money name are you from old money and I'm like ah oh, you have no idea how old the money is that I am from I'm with him the Holy Ghost Amen. is the oldest of money mm -hmm. you've had the word go out and do something for you yes it begins to change you but as you continue to say the Word of God you just don't even, some people don't even know what I'm talking about until they have it go out and do something for you yeah. I'm confessing the word I'm in agreement with the Holy Ghost and I keep confessing the word and then all of a sudden really wasn't all of a sudden was it it took a little time but all of a sudden it went out and did something for me yeah. and it works every time yeah. and you don't know until you know mm -hmm. does that make sense yes. say I'm of old money what do you think is the Holy Ghost of old money yes he's the promise he's the one you're being changed into mm -hmm. 
And I hope I've brought you up here where you know that you're walking with the Holy Ghost, right? Mm -hmm. We started out with that. Mm -hmm. So really, if you're not there, we, we've got a bunch of other messages on that, but we're walking with the Holy Ghost who's God in the earth today and we walk with him by saying words and we're talking about getting this going first speaking in agreement with his word concerning money and finances first corinthians chapter 2 let's look at verse 4 and my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom but in demonstration of the spirit and of power Here's Paul talking, my speech and my preaching. He didn't say his preaching and his preaching, did he? No. He said his speech and his preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but his speech and his preaching, but his speech was in demonstration of the Spirit and power. And this word demonstration means a visible showing, mm -hmm. an open show. This is where you should be. As you continue to speak in agreement with the Holy Ghost, there will be an open show of those things that you've been speaking. That's how we do. My speech, making visible, my speech were in the Holy Ghost. That your faith, we'll read on here, that, verse 5, that your faith would not stand in the wisdom of men but in the power of God mm -hmm. what can the power of God do for you in your situation mm -hmm. anything specifically anything that you say yes. in his word he will do for you it's an open show it's a making visible of his word and his promises in your life that pleases him you're being rich made rich pleases him because it's an open show of him manifesting in your life remember Abraham I will bless you mm -hmm. one chapter later Abraham was rich that was an open show of what God's blessing did in his life his promise mm -hmm. the Holy Ghost is the promise and wants to make visible himself the promise in your life get this working first are you here yes. he the Holy Ghost is a God of wealth a lot of people don't like that but I'm gonna say it again he the Holy Ghost is a God of wealth stupid ridiculous wealth old old money he made gold he didn't just have it he made it mm -hmm. what would you do how rich would you be if you could make gold <laughs> you'd make as much as you wanted right. you'd make more than you wanted mm -hmm. the Holy Ghost is a God of wealth he's in the earth it is your job to walk with him it is your job to speak in agreement with him and this is one of the things you should be getting going first but this is only a primer in where we are to go using the words I worship you Holy Ghost only and speaking your confessions on a daily basis will take you farther than almost any other thing can it is the pearl of great price the Bible tells us where to start we start with rich Holy Ghost I thank you these people are made rich and they're being changed from glory to glory into your image and you will be able to manifest yourself in their life on them and around them and we give you all the glory in Jesus name amen, amen. if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. I worship you I thank you that you are a God of great wealth and that as I walk with you I walk in great wealth manifesting you in the earth in Jesus name amen
is in heaven, Jesus at his right hand. Holy Ghost, your God in the earth to 